Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where we are in Redcliffe and we are supposed to help out with the zombie attack tonight. But also, guess what? I have figured out how to make the red aura go away. So, you go over here, and you should be able to see that he's using a sustained ability. If you just turn those off, then it goes away. He's still using one, but the annoying aura has gone away, so I'm okay with that. What were we doing? That's the constant question. Uh, yeah. Talk to Seven Backs, but seek out divine protection for the knights. You should talk to Mother Hannah to see if she's willing to help. Can we find the village chantry? Okay. Can I go in here, though? Because I'm. I just. I know I need to explore around stuff more, I've been told. So. I mean, it doesn't look like there's much in here, but I'm trying. It is the gun. Ooh, what's this? I also heard that when you enter a room, if you hit, I think it was tab, then everything in the room that you can interact with lights up. So that'll be useful in the future. I didn't know that that would work, or that that would happen. Okay, but it looks like that's all that we can really do up here. A landmark tree. Some have spoken of the Darkspawn rising to the south. We could save this village only to have it invaded in a matter of weeks. A landmark tree. Can I go this way? I mean, it looks like I can, but I don't know if I want to. So I might, yeah, it looks like we just headed for an area transition. Oh no, it, it circles back around. Okay, that's fine. Hey, isn't this where we came in? I can't believe, I can't believe how relieved I was to be your help in this. Now I'm confused. I'm very confused about where I was, but that's not unusual. I'm terrible with directions. So we came in through here, except we didn't. That's probably why we didn't actually come in through here. Because we were taken into the village as soon as we reached the bridge. Alright, so I think... We just need to figure out where to go. Can I... Does it have things on my map? The landmark tree, we're just there. Smithy, tavern, chantry, Kate. Okay. So we just need to go everywhere that we can. So is this the blacksmith? Blacksmithy. Go away. Curse you. Leave Aww. me in peace. Sir. You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Who are you, and what are you doing at my door? Certainly not. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Off you go. Hmm. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Here, yeah, I'll get the locks. All right. So we've gotten into the smithy. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen. Though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? My brewer in here, have you locked your why have you locked yourself in this movie? My girl, Felena. She's one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. You could work to help save I'm an old man. Everyone knows we aren't making it through the night. 
Or are you going to save us? I intend to try. Is that so? Hmm. Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. It'd do me I the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. If you look for Valena, I'll reopen the smithy and make some repairs for the militia. I can do that much. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing, and I didn't believe him either. You are asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise... Oh boy, Morgan. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Is this a promise we will not keep? Let's hope not. What's this? I said nothing to you, human. All right, then. It seems I have some work to do, Jesus realizing the Stan. forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. All right, yep, Sten and Morgan both disapprove. Not surprising, they disapprove of everything I do. Talk to Murdoch. Alright, so we still need to go to the Chantry, and then we need to go find the blacksmith's daughter. So first we're telling Murdoch. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. How is morale? Morale's about what you'd expect. These men aren't soldiers. They're villagers defending their homes. And they're frightened. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. We're better off now that we've sufficient arms. I don't know that we're ready for the battle, really. But were we ever? Is there anything else? Right. Let's hope we see morning. Okay. So we can start that now if we want. Um. Should we find her before we go? I mean, that seems like it might be simplest. That's me and my group. I just... She's not here. She's in the castle. And I don't think we can go there yet. But we can... Don't you ever talk? You know, make polite conversation, just... Alright, we're actually... Gonna make this back to active one, but I do want to look around. You mean that I should remark upon the weather before I cut off a man's head? Never mind. I'm not a big fan of Sten. Like, I don't know, he just doesn't seem good to me. Besides, we wanted to go to the Chantry as well, which was where House. Smithy. Okay. okay. This building, yep. That's the one. Let's go and do it. Let's see if we can get the Maker's Blessing. Oh, yeah. Caitlin. I wonder if we should look around inside Caitlin's house 
Maybe that's where the sun is. You are a stranger amongst us, yet you still agree to defend our village in its darkest hour. We are most grateful to you. Not many in these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? Um, so Perth needs holy protection for the knights. I have done all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I cannot do it. I know that their own faith may inspire them, but these men need to find confidence on their own. I, I simply won't lie to them. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can. And I suggest you do the same. I'm not good at this whole persuading people to do anything. I need to work on that. So Caitlin's house Very well. is on the map. And I'm actually curious about that quest. Um, what if we make this active? Didn't think it would help. Tavern... So I think this is her home. I don't know where the door is, but I think this is her home. Now I'm all around the wrong side. I don't even know if we act. Well, I mean, we have a transition icon there, so I'm assuming we can go inside. Is it up there? No. We just around all this stuff. Alright, because I feel like this would be the first place to look for clues about the missing kid. So let's see what we can find. When you approach the dresser, something moves inside. Ah, what are you doing? All right, I'll come out. Please, don't hurt me. I'll go back to the Chantry if you want. I didn't mean any harm. What were you doing? I... Here? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Maybe I could help you. No, I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. Okay, quest updated. So we need to go back there now. Can I not can I interact with anything in here? I don't think so. Well, that was easier than I expected. I thought we were going to have to search all over the place for him. But apparently not. So, back to the chantry. As you say. Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Yay, we did it. Alright, so the only place we haven't been in town at this point is the tavern. I think. And I should probably go into all the places and not leave stuff behind. So, where 
where's the tavern? It's that way. Let's just walk in front of these people shooting arrows. It's fine. Don't worry. Anyway. It's just... I don't know how to get over there. Perhaps we can get there this way. I'm not sure. We're just going to look around. We're going to wander around the village. See what there is to see. Ooh, there's more of this stuff. More death here, but unfortunately we've otherwise hit a dead end. I'm stuck. So yeah, we need to go this way. This is called me getting lost. So it has to be a way into the tower. Got an area transition. Yeah, in fact, see, kind of. Is it up here? It is. I would, like, have totally missed that path every single time if it weren't for the fact that I was looking for this door. Would completely miss it. Okay, let's talk to people. Bella. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. What do you know about the elf in the corner? Not much. He's very quiet. Says his name's Beric and he's here to meet his brother, but I think he's lying. He's a bit creepy. How's business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... You don't care for Lloyd? He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. I could talk to Lloyd. No, no. That'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. I'd like that. And maybe we could talk after the battle tonight. If we're still here, that is. Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the chantry. Are you fighting tonight? That's good to hear. I didn't know that. You seem unhappy safe. about the fact that we are fighting tonight. Not looking for company. Why? I don't live here. Just waiting until I can leave again. Elves aren't allowed to travel. I'm not here to talk. Just leave me to drink, all right? I just want to be left alone. No. Can I keep bothering I you? said I'm not looking for company. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? I... No reason. I just didn't know how Something you knew my name. You that's was all. funny. Oh, I guess that uh, makes sense. Look, you're very pretty and all, but I was told to uh, just leave me alone. What on earth is going on? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening people. I don't want trouble. I, I'm going to the Chantry now. Just leave me alone. Hmm... Do I want to try and intimidate him? I'm curious. I really want to know what he's doing. All right, all right. I'll tell you. Just don't hurt me. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. I'm stuck. Same as you, I swear. Who are they who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He, uh, said he was working for Hal. Arl Rendon Hal. He's an important man. Terran Loghain's right hand. So I didn't do anything wrong. Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. I don't know anything about these creatures. When the Arl got sick, I got scared that people would think I was involved. But I swear I don't know anything about it. They sent me to watch. 
Maybe they knew the Arl would get sick. I don't know. Hmm. Sounds fishy. Here, this is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. You have to believe me. Fitting. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. So he was spying on the Arl. Asten approves. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Um, but yeah, so he was spying. We had the option to kill him, but that wouldn't have looked very good in, you know, a bar. Hello there, friend. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Brave words. Brave words. Well, we'll see when night falls, won't we? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Fine. Make them quick. Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Shouldn't you be helping? Why? When them creatures attack, I locked myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Well, yes. I suppose that is what I want. Right then. Okay. Who else can we talk to? They're these guys. I don't know if they'll say anything. Because they don't have names. Then the thing he... It, it, he chewed his face. It his voice got all weird. To push it off. Ah. Anything back here that's of importance? Nope. But I saw stairs. Does this lead anywhere? Nope, we can't go back there. So we've talked to everybody in here pretty extensively, I think. We can go back out to the village. Alrighty. So guys, in the next episode, I think we're going to uh, wait it out until sundown and see what happens to this village at nightfall. But I'm going to end this episode here. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.